What's happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got another huge update. Though you guys could probably already tell, it is going down. Just by that title alone, definitely y'all wanna see this. As we got that Fox News The Five host, Harold Ford Jr. back at it again, guys. His Trump derangement syndrome is fully taking control in this newest segment. He's working his way straight out the door of Fox News The Five, guys. I'm excited to get into it. So now I'm straight into it. Just make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Before we even get into it, you guys, hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button for your boy. And without further ado, Let's jump straight into it, folks. Check this one out. I have two little girls. I don't want them getting run over on a playing field by a male or formerly male athlete. But as a Democrat, I'm supposed to be afraid to say that. Well, Ooh. maybe you should have been afraid because the woke mob was not happy. A top Democrat in Moulton's hometown of Salem wants him replaced, allegedly, listen to this, even calling him a Nazi cooperator. And there's a pro-trans rally against Moulton being held in his hometown this weekend. But the congressman says the backlash proves his point. It completely proves my point. I mean, I was using this as one of many examples where the Democratic Party has lost touch with the American people. But the problem is that we're so insistent on you know, policing our words and even refusing to engage in debates about contentious issues that we're just losing on them. And will they come after AOC next? She apparently just took her pronouns off her ex account. So, Greg, we are all left to wonder AOC's gender. What are we to do? It's hard. I said, thank God I know what a woman is and she's all woman. You know, uh, it's fitting that it's that his hometown is Salem because that's this is the new witch yeah. trials. Even after America has told them, no, you aren't the majority and your ideas are crazy, uh, especially on autogynephilia, they can't let go. And here's why. Because we just, just didn't turn the page. We threw out their entire book. And it was the mm. only book they've been reading. It's like we burned the Bible, the first testament of identity politics, and they have no other language. They don't know how to speak. And the reason is identity politics was never about thinking. It was about not thinking. You begin and end on who you are and the issues that follow are irrelevant. So the fact that I mm. am trans takes priority over the concern of girls changing in front of creepy men in locker rooms. What comes first is I am trans. The activist zeal keeps people from speaking out. That's the way it's intended. That's why the trans issue was the most important one, because it wasn't about the numbers. It was about the impact on others and compelling others to bend to what many believe is a fetish cult. Yeah. And wow. Wow. Greg Gutfeld with a very brilliant point right there where he's saying the whole identity politics thing was not made for you to think. It was made for you not to think, you know, put your identity first before all the other issues in politics out there. Oh, my goodness. Greg Gutfeld with a great point. And a lot of people said we want normalcy. We don't want biological men and women sports. Jesse, there's a fascinating piece in The Times, and it is about undecided voters. And the moment they said, I've got to go for Trump. And there's this 25 year old named McLean. And she said, I shocked myself and voted for Trump. No one tell my family. I think I became radicalized on the men and women sports issue. The ad that said Kamala represents they them. Trump represents you. Oh, my. And this is the one that I feel like hit home for a lot of Americans across the nation you know this ad would play and i almost forgot about it. it's crazy I almost forgot this one was a powerful ad but it would play during the nfl sunday you know the ad breaks and i would be rushing to the bathroom and i could hear it down the hallway playing i almost wanted to clap because it was just so powerful of a message you know donald trump is for you i mean come on you guys that was so compelling she goes on to say she doesn't really like trump but he was team normal wow yeah and now all the democrats are whining to schumer that they never got any help when they got crushed with these they them ads. Now, Greg just made such a good point, but he speaks so quickly. No one heard it. I he heard he it. said that <laughs> identity politics made people not think. And that's such a great point. And I don't want to say anything else nice about you because you have a huge ego. But that's true. This does kind of reflect what the party's going through right now. How to be a working class party, but also how to be a woke party. Problem is woke and working class does it mix? It's like oil and water or oil and vinegar, whatever it is. <laughs> it doesn't mix. You can't have oil and vinegar. You can't have them both at the same time. Now, if you're highly evolved like I am, yes. I can treat people with respect and dignity if they have different lifestyles or different identities. But what I don't do is I don't allow those lifestyles and identities to impose their agenda on the rest of society. That's where they get caught up. 
Now, what I don't understand is they don't understand math because it's like 0.1% of the population cares, but it's taken over their whole party. It's because this 0.1% is so damn loud Mm. and they're Mm. so damn feisty and they're the ones in the streets and they're the ones in Hollywood and a lot of them are in the media. So they're punching way above their weight and they don't have anybody in the party to tell them to knock it off. That's why they need Rahm Emanuel. Right now they're begging Rahm Emanuel to come in and run the DNC. Mm. They're begging a straight white man to come in and say crazy people knock it off this is what we need to do to win he was a ballet dancer jesse waters driving that point even further home that greg put out there i'm telling you guys that the whole identity politics was definitely based off you know just not thinking at all um wherever whatever group demographic you identify with that's who you're going to put ahead of any issues um policies they don't care guys and they will go as far as to attack you if you don't identify or agree with um their what they're you know what they're pushing that agenda and it's crazy to see the things they'll do um like we just seen the uh democratic representative getting you know call for him to be removed from his seat because of his uh statements that he put out there and i feel like that's just common sense he doesn't want his little daughters being ran over um by someone who was formerly known as a male i mean it just it doesn't equate, and I don't think it ever would. I think they should get their own separate leagues. And say, crazy people, knock it off. This is what we need to do to win. He was a ballet dancer. He was? Yes. Oh, who knew that man? Greg And he's a heterosexual. <laughs> Who isn't? Mm. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Um, You know, Judge, so the New York Times, and to another point of oil and water, is science and and politics. Oil and water, got it. Oil Oil and and water. Pretty sure it's vinegar. This this was Pamela Paul. She was a Dem, and she changed. And Well, she's still a Dem, but she says this about her party. More than 14,000 American children had gender-related medical interventions between 2019 and 23. While much of Europe has been pulling back from the gender affirmation model, evidence emerged that in the U.S., proponents of this approach have let politics color science. So what about hail the science, Dr. Fauci? We don't listen to science on the left. Well, you know, the interesting thing about all of this is that um, it is so exaggerated in this country. And Europe is ahead of us, obviously, yep. on this because they now recognize the damage that was done. I have a couple of thoughts, Greg. The first one is to you. Um, AOC dropping her pronouns. I think there's a reason for that, and we'll know in a couple of months <laughs> what that reason is. Mm, you leave okay. me pregnant oh. with thought. How yes, very good. <laughs> okay, and my second point is kudos to this uh, congressman because his familial status is more important than political ideology. Third thing, you got to understand as a parent, when you have a child, and you know most of us here have, and hopefully all will, but... Um, When you have a child, you love them immediately. You watch them grow. You go to their first game in sports, and then you get up early and take them to practice. And at night, you know, they're late at, with practice, and you pick them up. And then they, they, they go to college, and some of them play sports in college. And then all of a sudden, this little girl, like my Kiki, all right, now all of a sudden, if she wants to play soccer, she's got some guy named Jeffrey who wants to call himself Janice, who's going to spike a, a a volleyball at her head and to make matters worse afterwards he's going to see her in the shower this is this is absolute lunacy and so now the trans are staging some kind of rally at molten's home and um i i would think that those protesters haven't played sports and that every one of those trans uh the protesters at the congressman's house they should pick up a football a basketball a volleyball whatever it is and do hoops or whatever game they can and then see if they are well enough as a woman to compete with a man and then see how long they make it just like- make- wow judge and name with a very emotional claim but i feel that though you know if you really think of it from a parent perspective you know little kiki she's out here she's been doing this her whole life she goes to college she's supposed to be you know excelizing. and she's showcasing off her talent that she's learned throughout her career and then she's got janice coming out of nowhere you know just big brolic guy and he's able to just 
switch over into her lane and ruin everything, all her hopes and her dreams. It just shouldn't be possible. That should not be the case. Like I said, I'm not against them at all. I just think maybe separately, you know, a separate league, they get to compete against each other. Um, and that way it doesn't interfere with folks who, you know, are, are born that way and they would like to actually try to excel at a higher level. It just doesn't make sense to me at all. And I'm glad Judge Neen pointed it out. Make it skins and shirts. Right. Yeah. You know, Harold, Republicans spend $77 million on ads on the trans issue alone. And it's not Moulton who's the only one upset. Democrats apparently were clamoring with Schumer. We got to do something here because this issue killed us. We talked about it a lot on this show. Uh, I think, and I've tried to say this, but just because you're asking people to listen and that people are concerned about an issue doesn't make you racist mm -hmm. or fascist or Hitler. Seth Moulton mm. is a tough, decorated Marine. The people who are talking about him, I want to know how many of you served. How many of you picked up a gun and shot it on behalf of the wow. country and tried to protect the country? That doesn't make him above you, but that makes it where you should listen to him. He didn't say, I have two daughters and you guys are wrong. He said, I have two daughters and I want to at least have a conversation yeah. about this. Two, this campaign, I agree with a lot that's been said about what Trump and how all these things have happened in this campaign, but every presidential campaign, something dramatic happens. Obama, something dramatic happened. Clinton, something dramatic happened. W. Bush, H. W. Bush. What, what I really think this election did, what Donald Trump did was he eulogized both the Republican Party of old and the Democratic Party of old. The Republican Party now is the voice in the face uh, through Donald Trump of working class Americans. And many of the issues that we've talked about here, and particularly this one, is one that resonates and one, one that animated and, 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 and catalyzed people to go out and vote. It, when independents, to your point, Judge, the, ma the, the majority or the biggest issue for many independents that voted in the battleground states was this issue. And I don't think that they do not like trans kids or they don't like gay kids or they don't like lesbians or, or men whom are gay. What they don't like is what we talked about here. It was a brilliant move on the part of the Trump campaign to make this issue about sports and bathrooms. And as a father of a 10 year old daughter and a nine year old son, it's something that resonates with me. Oil and water. This stuff doesn't what Democrats have to understand is you can't talk about cultural priorities unless they're actually the priorities of the country. And this issue here was not a priority of, of the American people overall. And if Democrats don't figure this out, yep. we're going to have more nights like this every November, every four years. Well, that was wow. brilliant analysis, Harold. I hope your party doesn't listen to you. <laughs> All right. Yo, there we have it, guys. Oh, my goodness. Harold Ford Jr. with a little bit of a come to reality moment there where he's trying to direct. He's a Democrat with direction, trying to lead his party in the right way, saying, hey, if he don't fix it up on this issue, repair what we've done. We're going to keep losing like this every four years. I mean, and he's flat out right. You know, this issue, it related to a lot of the working class, just like Judge Anin said. Imagine it's you. You've got your little girl that you raised up to be a great athlete. You think you're sending her off to college. You worked so hard, nine to five, all this time trying to pay for her, put her through college, and then you tell me that she, her dream shut out by someone who was born a biological. It just does not make sense to me, guys. And, and then the whole sharing bathrooms thing. It, it, I don't even want to get onto that, guys. Definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts, though. Uh, it just seems like they're a little bit out of touch. Um, in this subject, the identity politics have to be dropped or else they're going to keep losing like this, guys. But definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy more content like this, Catch you guys on the next one. We got.